All right, we're gonna do a um, herbed um, pot, pork roast, or, or yeah, in the crock pot. This is one of my favorite crock pots. It's a rival crock pot. It's old. It's got all kinds of stains on it from where I. This is balsamic vinegar here, but this is an old crock pot. I need to get another one. Um, it's been a good one. But anyways, I've got olive oil inside of the um, crock pot. That's what I put in the bottom. I've already turned it on low. I washed my pork roast. This is a Boston butt. And um, you can use shoulder, you can use pork loin, but I just prefer Boston butt when I'm making um, a, a crock pot or any type of um, pork roast. So we're going to put this, let's salt this. I like mine really good and salted. <clears throat> it's better to use sea salt if you can. Try not to get any pork roast on my pepper grinder here. And place it inside. Now let me wash my hands, get this gunk off my hands. <clears throat> All right, right here we have some thyme. And you can put thyme in um, New England clam chowder, um, any type of soup or anything like that just to give it an extra little herb taste. Here's some bay leaves and a lot of folks will use that in their pastas as well and there's some rosemary and we grow out in our yard I grow thyme and rosemary um, no bay leaves but I do have thyme and rosemary in the garden um, I'm gonna put a little garlic powder this is some McCormick garlic powder just sprinkle that on there and this here is uh, about a cup of balsamic vinegar. And of course, this is an herbed pork roast. Usually I use apple cider vinegar if I want that southern um, tang to a pork roast. But we're gonna pour this on top. And since it's a smaller pork roast, I'm not gonna put the whole cup in there. And here's your thyme. You just put the sprigs in there with it. In the... And here's your rosemary. Let's just put all that in there. And the bay leaves. Just let it all, it's gonna all simmer and kind of cook all together anyway. And this is our honey out of our garden. Put about a fourth of a cup. I'm not gonna measure it um, of honey. But this is our bees. We actually have our own bees. And I'm gonna put just a little bit more honey. There we go. It might be a little more than a fourth. You let that cook on low for six to eight hours. And we'll get back with you. So here is the pork roast. And I want you to know it's outstanding. It's super tender. And I'm going to eat a bite of it. You don't have to show me eating it, but... Oh, man. That is mighty excellent, Nakanya. You did a great job. Um... Wow. It cooks seven to eight hours. Not what I thought would have thought it would have tasted like with all the balsamic vinaigrette, but it somehow it has very much tenderized that, and it's outstanding. I've never made a roast with balsamic on it before. I'm surprised it did like that, but it's really, really tender. Where did you find the recipe? On Pinterest or something? Or? Yeah, it was online. I, I usually don't do that, though. I don't put balsamic vinaigrette on it. It is outstanding roast. pork roast, so I'm going to have some of that. And... Uh, Cheers, everyone. Uh, my, wife has done a, a sweet potato. my wife has done an awesome <laughs> job. 